are you buying bottled water? Are, they, are we delivering you bottled water? Is another company delivering you bottled water? Well, this video is going to explain to you why you might not want to do that. <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? I'm actually recommending that you don't buy bottled water that gets delivered to you. Now, you might say, that's insane because you sell bottled water. But see, the thing is, is I want to teach people about what's most healthy for you, right? What is most healthy for you? And you have to ask yourself, are you drinking the best water for you and your family? And I can just tell you that if you are getting bottled water, if you're on New York or LA, you want to make sure that you check that bottle and make sure it says BPA free, because this is the reason why. What happens when water sits in plastic? It's the most natural solvent in the world. Solvent, what do you mean by solvent? Solvent means it cleans things. It takes on the characteristic. Anything that water touches, it becomes what it touches. Let me make sure I say that again a little slower. Whatever water touches, it becomes part of what it touches. So if it's touching plastic, it becomes a little bit of plastic. And so what do we know? We know in today's world, we have reduced levels of testosterone in the average male. We know that women, as a per capita, have more infertility problems than we ever have had in our lifetime. Hmm. So we know these things are happening. Now let's put, that's number one. Let's add number two, or add one plus one equals two. Now, today's world, or back in the 70s and 80s, we drank water out of the tap. Why? Because the water was actually kind of clean back then, right? We didn't have all the manufacturing that we had. People could actually feel comfortable drinking the water. And it was safer because in the advent of technology, in the advent of new products and services, new plastics in the world, really, those chemical byproducts get into our drinking water. Look at Forever Chemicals. Everyone's freaking out about PFOAs and PFASs, and so they're like, I don't trust my government for my water. Well, I, I get it. 200 million people are drinking water with Forever Chemicals, so I should trust a bottler that's going to sell me water because I'm paying the money. Trust a large corporation because you're paying them money. Got to ask yourself, can you trust them? Let's take a look at Dasani as an example. Dasani used to say they reverse osmosis their water and then put it in a bottle. It said reverse osmosis water on the bottle. And then four states sued them in the 90s for the Truth and Labeling Act because it wasn't reverse osmosis water. Now, why is reverse osmosis water so good? Because reverse osmosis does take out almost all the toxins. But now look, you put it in a plastic bottle that's not BPA-free, that becomes a synthetic hormone, estrogen. So, huh, a male drinking water from a plastic water bottle, and we have, as a group, more people with uh, lower level, more men with lower levels of testosterone, one. So we have one plus one equals two lower levels of testosterone. We have women drinking water from plastic water bottles, and we have an increased cause of infertility and harder for women to get pregnant and more premature births than we've ever had before. Again, estrogen plus drinking water from a plastic water bottle, and you've got that issue. Now, BPA is the cause of it. This is why they ruled BPA out of our plastics that touch uh, for infants and for elderly. But what about you and me? The government, who also said Forever Chemicals for a long time wasn't bad for the body, we find out that now it is bad for the body. The government, who said hexavalent chromium-6, which is what the movie uh, Aaron Brockovich, Brockovich was all about, who where she, that was where uh, Julia Roberts won the Best Actress Award for playing that role. We know that the government said hexavalent chromium-6, if you drink it, your digestive tract changes it to chromium-3, which is healthy for the body. We know that that's not true, so that was a lie. That was a lie. Now, the scientists can say that they were wrong. Whoops, that was a mistake. But then why did they say something that they didn't know for sure? Isn't it better to say, I don't know for sure? So that's why I'm here today. 
I'm here to stand in front of you to say, yes, I sell bottled water. There are those cases where people can't get a drinking water system in there, and they need to get bottled water. Some people just really believe in bottled water. I feel like it's better. Okay, I can't change what your mind says to you, and so you feel more comfortable drinking that, but I know BPA is bad, so we have BPA-free bottles. But how do we know there's not something else in here? One day in the future that some other plastic causes some sort of problem. I don't know. What I know is just what people have studied and what I can report back to you. So to me, as a person who's passionate about health and your welfare, I think that it's worth my time to explain to you that it might make more sense that you get your own drinking water system one that's NSF 58 certified that takes the toxins out of the water. NSF, standing for National Sanitation Foundation. It's a nonprofit that manufacturers pay thousands and thousands of dollars to prove that their product is safe or it takes out the toxins that it says it's going to take out. So if you're buying bottled water because you're like, I want safer water, I don't, I get it, I understand. But this video is to argue like, you're now trusting me or the cor large corporation who makes lots of money to be truthful with you. Now I know that you can trust me because I'm going to make sure of it. I, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to make sure that this water's reverse osmosis. But the one thing I don't know is I don't know if, unlike BPA, some other chemical byproduct from the plastic gets into the water. Plastic is made of petroleum. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's made of petroleum. I mean, we use petroleum for almost everything out there today. It's a problem. Why do you think these oil companies are so dang rich? They're so dang rich because we use it for everything. Making telephones, cell phones, the devices that we hold our phones in, the, you know, the, wrap, the, 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 the cell phone protectors are made of plastic. Everything's made of plastic. So when you look at it, your whole car is almost plastic today. So it's like you got to ask yourself, your exposure to these chemicals that are in petroleum also can be here in this plastic. So if you want better control of your health and your welfare, then you may want to decide that you go get yourself a reverse osmosis system that's NSF 58 certified. You may say to yourself, I don't really trust the government for good clean water. And what I would argue, you may not want to trust the big corporations who they, by the way, most of them, here's a great story. I was asked by Mayor Daley, you know, that was a couple years ago, right? We were talking almost 20 years ago. Mayor Daley, the second Mayor Daley was in office, and his staff invited me in because they were like shocked. They're like, you know, we just, we want a bottler to come out and talk to us truthfully. I said, I'm happy to do it. And so they said, great. So I sat down in this room, and I don't know, there must be about 10 people in the room, and they, I was like shocked. There was all these people. I was getting a little nervous. They're like, we want to know something, and would you be truthful with us? I said, of course. And I thought maybe they want to buy my bottled water, right? They're like, we buy Hinkley and Springs bottled water. Is it true that they just run it through a water softener and a carbon filter and they really don't purify it? And I go, yes, that's true. I go, what do you want to get out of the water? I mean, what, what is your goal? Well, our employees won't drink the water out of the water fountain. So here's the government, the city of Chicago, who owns Jardine water treatment plant, Remember the key word there is water treatment plant. Treat it with chlorine, not water filtration plant that filters toxins out of the water, but water treatment plant, which means that they add toxins to the water. They're asking me, the water that they buy, and they were buying hundreds of thousands of dollars of bottled water a year because their own employees wouldn't go drink the tap water. They couldn't, ex they couldn't educate them that that was good. And so I asked a couple questions. Now, why don't the employees trust the water? And you know what I found out? Is one quarter inch of rainfall produces five billion, with a B, billion gallons of raw sewage that backs up into Lake Michigan. So here's these employees who start to realize and start to learn that, oh, they also handle the septic, and the septic rolls right back out into Lake Michigan, and they have a treatment plant, which means they're not filtering that stuff, they just dealt with it with chlorine. So they wanted something better. And they didn't like the taste of the water. And they were worried about the lead. Because don't forget, Chicago was the last major city to actually switch, stop using lead in drinking water systems. 
plumbing systems. Um, hello? So here you have a government that actually understands that, and they're buying bottled water instead of their own employees taking and drinking it right out of the tap. Doesn't that make you go, hmm? <laughs> I can't trust them. And then what do you find out? Hinkley and Springs, or I don't even know who's, who does it now, but whatever company it is, most of them just run it through a carbon filter to make it taste good. So unless it is certified reverse osmosis water, NSF 58 certified systems, then we don't know if the water's clean or not. By the way, the FDA is in charge of watching out for bottled water companies. It's not the EPA. If, if a bottled water company buys their water from a city, supplies from a city, the, e, the FDA just goes, okay, you're good to go. So literally I can just buy water from the city of Chicago, put it in here and sell it to you. That's all I gotta do. It meets everyone's standards. Silly, right? But no, bottled water companies run it through a carbon filter, which is basically a cheap Brita filter. Then they put it in a bottle and sell it to you. So you have to ask yourself, what do you really want? And so I don't know what stage you're on in your journey of making your family more healthy or making yourself more healthy, but what I'd argue to you is that you are one big filter. You know, you put something in your body, you become it. Your mommy was correct. You are what you eat, you are what you consume. 75% of your wa body is water, 95% of your, your brain is water. So I know that because I was in the medical world before the water world. And so my passion is to share that with you and say if you want to be a healthy you, then it does seem to make sense that you want to drink purified water, clean water that maybe has minerals added to it. If you want to learn more, I've got several videos that talk about Celtic salt. You add that on your tongue and then you drink water. That's a great way to get those minerals back in. So that's how you can do it. And when you use a reverse osmosis system that's NSF 58 certified, then you know all the toxins are out. Now you know you got good clean water. And then the last thing that you really want to do is store it in a BPA environment. That's the last thing you want to do. So we do keep it in BPA free. You can see that right there, BPA free. But I would argue you have to be in control of your health. Be in charge of your health. So that's where my passion lies. Is how Help educate you so you can take control of it. Don't trust the federal government. Don't trust your city government. And certainly don't trust some major corporation. Because we know just by looking at 3M and DuPont that they have not been honest with us about anything so far. So to that extent, that's uh, my lobby with you. If you like this video and you're buying bottled water or you know someone else that's buying bottled water, share this link. If you don't mind, comment. I do my best job to re respond to everybody because I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to learn from you. I have learned from several of you. So it's very important that if you would, please comment, press like, share it, all that kind of good stuff. Um, lastly, as you know, um, I'm passionate about education. So if you check out our link below, we'll actually give you what toxins are in your city water, whether you're on the East Coast or West Coast, check out our link below. That's gonna be able to give you a toxin, what's in, what toxins are in your water um, nationwide. That said, as you know, I'm passionate about making you healthy, so go drink good, clean water. I'm Drew, I'm here to serve you.